Hey healthy people, Dr. Rubina here. Welcome to the RX. Today I'm very excited to welcome Dr. Anita Gupta to the show. Dr. Anita Gupta is the Vice Chair and Associate Professor at the Drexel University College of Medicine in the Division of Pain Medicine in the Department of Anesthesiology. She is an author, she is a leader in the industry when it comes to commenting on pain medicine. So I'm very happy to have you today. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you very much, very excited. So today we want to change the conversation about pain. Many Americans are faced with chronic pain. And so we want to provide the viewers maybe with a little bit of a different idea than what we're used to. So what types of things do you do in your practice that are different from medication, chemistry, opioids, narcotics? Rubina, that's a great question. Thank you so much for it, and thank you for having me. So pain is something so difficult to treat, and in my practice, I use a different model of care. Right. You know, number one, I make sure my patients are positive, that they know that they're number one, and that I'm going to do everything they can uh, you know, to get them better, get their life back on track. And number two is making sure that they follow instructions. They're taking their medications as directed. Right. If you don't take your medications as directed, they're not going to work the right way. Right. Uh, third thing I do is make sure that I focus just not on the physical problem, Problem of pain, but also address the emotional problem. Right. You know, social network, making sure they have family and friends around that can really help them get there where they need to be. Sure. Uh, and lastly, making sure, most importantly, uh, that we involve something called combination therapy. Yes. And combination therapy is really using a variety of different treatments right. medications, mm -hmm. physical therapy, uh, using nerve blocks, and so many other things that people often don't think about when they have pain. Right, because it's a lifestyle. It's Correct. a lifestyle change. So, you know, whether you're getting acupuncture, physical therapy, massage, chiropractic, but also diet and exercise as well. These are all things that contribute to, to the model that we're trying to address. One thing I really wanted to ask you was to give us some insight on topical analgesic creams. That's a great question as well. Topical creams that we use for pain, things that we can apply to the skin, right. are readily available. They're FDA approved, they're safe, they're effective, and you can get them at your pharmacy anytime. You can go there today and get it. But what's really important to know is that there are topical medications that can have drug interactions too. They can be irritating, you might have an allergic reaction, but they can be safe and they can work. Some of the most commonly used ones are menthol. Yeah. Menthol gives you that cool sensation right. when you put it on, it makes you feel relaxed, and it treats the symptom right away. Right. Uh, in addition, there's things like aspirin. Aspirin actually comes in a cream. Wow. So if you apply that on, it can actually also be very, very helpful and complementary to maybe a more robust treatment plan with your doctor. And lastly, another cream that people often use is something called capsaicin. Yes, and people often that. don't know about capsaicin, right. but capsaicin is made out of hot peppers. Hot peppers. And <laughs> hot peppers, actually, when you apply it on the first time, it really hurts. But if patients can stick with it, yes. it actually can be very, very effective for people, for people who have nerve-related pain right. or other chronic pain conditions can really work. And so an idea being that you want to utilize these things so you can remain active and you can address the different areas of your lifestyle and so you really want to you know address the root cause of, of what's happening right that's right I mean we need to start the conversation we need to change the conversation yes. about how we're treating pain it goes beyond the tablet beyond yes. the prescription there's really not an endpoint to those things and so I work very closely with my patients to make sure that we address all the spectrum of uh, pain-related issues, whether it be physical, emotional, social, yeah. biologic, making sure we address that, the whole patient, um, you know, entirely. And we can use so many new things, such as nerve blocks, uh, we can use different types of medications that are non-opioid, right. uh, that can be safe and effective and FDA approved. And lastly, I want to talk about maybe the differences between what's available over the counter. So, you know, we take stuff, but do we really know what's in it sometimes? Do we know why we're using it? That and also the idea of the shortest time, the, the, the smallest dose. If Correct. you can sort of elaborate on that for the Sure, viewers. sure. Acetaminophen or Tylenol, <laughs> yes. ibuprofen, which is also known as Advil and Motrin, some of the most commonly used medications in this country. You know, one third of people don't know what they are. Yeah. And you know, yeah. that's a really important drug and that, can that be we scary. use. It, it can, can have risks. Yeah. There's side effects. So mm -hmm. acetaminophen is a wonderful drug to treat pain. People often will use that first line when they have pain. Okay. But it can cause liver damage right. if you take too much of it. Okay. Ibuprofen, also very, very good. It's one of the most potent anti-inflammatory drugs we have, as you know. Uh, but it has risks as well. It can cause bleeding in the, in the stomach. It can cause heart attack. It can cause a stroke. So these drugs, whether you're taking them over the counter or whether you're taking it with your doctor, everyone needs to know about it to keep yeah. you safe, 
uh, and also to make sure they're effective. Now, what you mentioned uh, is an FDA recommendation. When you take any drug, okay. particularly these drugs, you need to take it for the shortest duration of time yes. uh, at the lowest effective dose. And that's so important, and people often forget that when they're taking these medications. Sure, and I think it's important, and I know you discuss as well, managing the expectations with the patient. So the bottom line is, when you're going in, talk to your doctor, ask as many questions as you can. There's no such thing as a stupid question. We know that. Um, thank you so much for thank sharing you. all this information Thank you so much. Us. Thank you. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching My New Philly, where something is always new and everything is always Philly.